when you get tired, I will help you through. Little heart, when you get broken, I will shelter you. Little ears, if you will listen, you will hear the truth. You are little ones. I am so glad you found me again in Oma's reading room. I've been waiting all week for our time to be together, to read together, and share a giggle or two. Fall is finally here, and it's Oma's favorite time of the year. I love it so much, which is actually a lot like the title for our book today. Let's check it out. I love you so much by Carl Norak. Carl Norak was born in Belgium in 1960. A former professor of French, he is the author of numerous children's books, as well as poetry and newspaper articles for adults. His love of travel has taken him to Asia, Africa, and the United States. He now lives on a farm in a small Belgian village. Let's see what he has to say. I Love You So Much by Carl Nora. I Love You So Much by Carl Nora. This morning, when Lola woke up, she felt something special on the tip of her tongue. I know the words are there, she said to herself. I can feel them puffing out my cheeks. Lola wanted to say her special words to Daddy, but it was too late. He was already leaving for work. Lola wanted to say her special words to Mommy, but Mommy was very busy. Mommy, I want to tell you, Lola whispered. Can it wait, Angel? said Mommy. You'll be late for school. On the school bus, it was much too noisy for Lola to say her special words. At the playground, Lola walked up to her teacher, but her teacher was already holding another child. In class, Lola looked over at the annoying boy sitting next to her. I won't tell him my special words, she thought. Lunchtime in the cafeteria, everybody was chewing and chopping. Nom, 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 nom. Lola kept quiet. Special words should not be chomped, she decided. During recess, all the children played running games. Lola didn't say a single word, especially not a special word. After school, Lola saw Frankie, the skateboard king. Lola smiled. She decided to say her special words to him. But zoom! That rat sped past Lola without stopping, without waiting to hear her special words. Back on the bus, it was too noisy again. Lola felt sulky now. At home, in the living room, Lola sulked some more. Poor Lola, hi bum bun. Even when her parents got home, Lola kept sulking. She didn't feel like saying her special words anymore. During supper, the meat felt hard, the salad felt mushy, and the lemonade was sour. What's wrong, Lola? Mommy asked. Won't you tell us? Daddy asked. Lola thought long and hard. I won't say anything, she thought. Nobody cares. I won't say my special words. But her cheeks started puffing up. Bigger and bigger and bigger still. Suddenly, Lola shouted, Mommy, Daddy, I love you. I love you. I love you so much. Finally, Lola had said her special words. The words came flying out of her mouth and worked their magic. Instantly, Mommy and Daddy hugged their Lola and kissed her cheeks. As she went upstairs to bed, 
Lola felt a little nervous. What if the special words don't come back tomorrow, she worried. But as soon as Lola turned off her light and snuggled into bed, she felt happy. Tomorrow's special words were already on the tip of her tongue. The end. Wasn't that a heartwarming message, little ones? Lola had such an important message to say, it was right there on the tip of her tongue. I'm so glad the words came bursting forward. And I hope that you'll find someone today to say, I love you. Let me be the first to tell you, I love you too. Until next time, Oma is sending you her hugs and her blessings. Be sure to catch them and hold them real tight. Bye-bye. Little hands, when you get tired, I will help you through. Little heart, when you get broken, I will shelter you. Little ears, if you will listen, you will hear the truth. You will hear the truth. It's a big world, baby. Big world, baby. Big and